kids! Welcome back! This is Teacher Yan and I will be teaching you about genetic traits of living things. You can see this on page 52 of your science book. For this video, I am going to focus only about genetic traits of human. First, let's define what is genetic traits. These are the traits that are passed on from parents to offspring. From parents to offspring. Parents pass on their physical traits to their offspring. When a baby is formed, some of the traits from the mother and some from the father are joined to form the baby. These traits are called genetic traits. Examples of genetic traits that parents can pass on to their children are this one. So first, the type of hairline, whether it is widow's peak, is straight, if not, maybe low hairline or high hairline, or it can also be bell shape. Next, number two, the type of hair. So, is it straight or curly? If not, maybe some are just wavy hair. Next, number three, we have the type of earlobe. We have Detached earlobe meaning an attach from the side of your head. We also have attached earlobe meaning it is connected directly to the side of your head. So which type of earlobe do you have? Do you have detached earlobe or attached earlobe? For me, I have detached earlobe. And we also have the type or the skin color. The skin color. Some are fair, dark, some also have light brown or brown, and tan or even black, even black skin. Number five, we have the eye color. If your parents' eye color is both brown or black or blue, then basically you can inherit that. And we also have the eyelid, the type of eyelid. We have the single eyelid and then the double eyelid. Mostly Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese have single eyelids, right? Do you have single eyelid or double eyelid? For me, I have double eyelid. Next, we have the hair whirl. Hair whirl, is it single or double? One or two? And you also have dimple. Having dimple or no dimple. And lastly, your tongue. Whether you are able to roll your tongue or unable to roll your tongue. Can you try to roll your tongue? For me, I can roll my tongue. How about you? Now, why is this possible? It is the work of your genes, DNA, and chromosomes. Your genes, DNA, and chromosomes are what makes you who you are. They are the set of instructions that are given to you by your father and your mother. Now, these instructions are in your cells. All living organisms are composed of cells. There are many different types of cells like brain cells, skin cells, muscle cells, bone cells, nerve cells, and hair cells. Every cell has the same basic part. The cell has an outer border called the membrane, which contains a liquid material called cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm is the nucleus, and inside the nucleus are chromosomes. Okay, now in humans, each cell normally contains 23 pairs of chromosomes. In the total of 46 chromosomes. Let's have this as an example. We have a pair of chromosomes. We said that chromosomes are always in pair. Now, genes are located in specific places on a specific chromosomes. Since there is a pair of chromosomes, there is also a pair of genes. Each pair of genes controls one trait of human. For example, a gene that controls the type of face. A gene that control the type of earlobe, 
and genetic control type of hair. There are hundreds to thousands of genes in each chromosome, not only three, but hundreds and thousands of genes. Let's just say this is your father and this is your mom. So when the sperm cell of your father meets the egg cell of your mom, their chromosomes unite and the genes pair up on a new chromosome. So let's say the blue one is your dad's chromosome and the pink one is your mom's chromosome. So these are now your chromosomes as their child. So this is now the combination of their chromosomes. There are also two types of genes that control the genetic traits. We have the dominant gene, which is a gene that can show its trait even when there is another gene there. The trait it shows is called the dominant trait and it is written in capital letters like capital T, T, and also capital T and small letter T. And the second one is the recessive gene, which means this is a gene that can only show its trait when it is paired up with the same kind of gene. So the trait it shows is called the recessive trait. And it is also written in small letters like small letter T and T. We have also the genotype. Genotype is the pairing of genes that control the genetic traits of a living thing. They are written as a pair of English letters like for example, big letter A and small letter A and it can also be two capital letter B and capital letter D or small letter D. Aside from that, we also have the phenotype and this is the physical looks of a living thing, specifically human and how they do things. For example, the height and the color of our skin. The genetic traits of a father came from paternal grandparents paternal grandparents means the mother and father of your dad now the genetic traits of a mother came from maternal grandparents maternal grandparents means the mom and dad of your mother so these traits were then passed on to their children this is why children also look like their parents and ancestors for example, the baby got the skin type of both the parents, which is fair skin. Next, the daughter inherited the facial feature of her mom. They almost looked the same. And the father passed on his blue eye color to his son. And this one, the baby inherited the curly hair and the skin color of the mother. People of the same family have similar traits, but they also have their own special traits that make them different from other people. These different traits are called genetic variations. So, this refer to differences between individual. One example of genetic variation is when the height of a child is different from the parents. Both parents can be tall, but their child can be short. This can be because of the lack of nutrition. This genetic variation can be passed on to the next offspring. Let's have Rigor Mendel. So you are already familiar with him. So he is the father of genetics. He was the first scientist to study about genetics. Gregor Mendel studied inheritance by doing experiment on pea plants in his garden, right? He was able to show the living things inherited some traits from their parents. He made the following points. The traits of living things are controlled by genes within gametes. These genes are passed on to next generations. The specific form of a gene is called allele. Another one. Each trait can be passed on free from others. Also, if the parental generation is homozygous, the traits of the first filial generation will be dominant trait, and the traits of the second filial generation will be the recessive trait. And the last one, the ratio of dominant trait to recessive trait will always be 3 is to 1. Okay, let's have some science facts. 
Genetic disorders are diseases that can be passed on from generation to the next generation. For example, color blindness, anemia, hemophilia, and some kinds of cancers. So if your parents or ancestors have some kind of genetic disorders, there is a possibility that you can also inherit these disorders. But you can also avoid by taking good care of your health. Always eat nutritious foods. Okay? For your activity, you can open your book to page 63. So on page 63, you can see this page and it says, look at the pictures and answer the questions. So you can see here a picture of a child and two mothers. The first question says, which should be the mother of the girl? So looking at the girl and looking at the two mothers, who do you think is the mother of this girl? Is it picture one or picture two? If you said it's picture one, then you are correct. So it's basically picture one. Number two, why do you think so? Why do you think so? Because the girl looks more like the woman in picture one. Number three, how can you tell that they are family? How can you tell that they are family? So as you can see, they have both black hairs. The skin color are the same. The eyes are the same. So they have almost the same genetic traits. So the genetic traits that the girl got from the mother make them look similar. Okay. So next. Number two, highlight the traits that the offspring did not get from the parents. So these are the traits of the father and these are the traits of the mother. And these are the traits of the children or their offspring. Okay, first, let's read all together the traits of the father. Everybody follow after me. Dark skin, straight hair, tall, have dimple, single eyelid, cannot roll the tongue, detached earlobe, brown eye, big front teeth, crooked finger. Okay, let's proceed to the traits of the mother. We have fair skin, pointy canine, black curly hair, tall, crooked finger, dark eye, detached earlobe, cannot roll the tongue, pointy nose, and single eyelid. And it's time for us to read the traits of the offspring. Let's start with pointy canine, brown eye, attached earlobe, can roll the tongue, short, straight, black hair, fair skin, straight finger, blue eye, pointy nose, and double eyelid. You have to highlight the traits that the offspring did not get from the parents. Okay, first, dark skin. Can you see dark skin here? There is no dark skin. That is why you should highlight this one. Next, straight hair. Can you see straight hair here? We have straight black hair, which is also the same with straight hair. So you should not highlight this one. Leave it as it is. Next, tall. Can you see tall here? There is no tall. It's only short. So you should highlight tall. What about have dimple? Have dimple. There is no dimple. Next, single eyelid. Single eyelid. There is no single eyelid but only double eyelid. So you should also highlight that one. Cannot roll the tongue. Cannot roll the tongue. It says here, can roll the tongue. So highlight it as well. Next, detach earlobe. Detach earlobe. It's a touch earlobe. So highlight it as well. Next, brown eye. As you can see, there is a brown eye here, so we should not highlight this one. Next is big front teeth. Big front teeth. Can you see big front teeth here? There's no, there's none. What about crooked finger? Crooked finger. We can only see straight finger. So highlight it as well. Okay, so let's move on to the traits of the mother. 
fair skin. Fair skin, there is fair skin. What about pointy canine? Pointy canine, there is also pointy canine. What about black curly hair? Black curly hair, we all we only have straight black hair. What about tall? It's short. What about crooked finger? It's straight finger. What about dark eye? It's blue eye. What about detached earlobe? It's attached earlobe. Cannot roll the tongue. Same with the father. The offspring gut can roll the tongue. What about pointy nose? There is a pointy nose. The offspring got the pointy nose of the mother. What about single eyelid? The child got double eyelids. So highlight it as well. So there you go. Next. For this one, you can see this on page 56. So here, this depends on your own answer, okay? So you should know yourself. Let me read it for you. I look like my father in blank. Number two, I look like my mother in blank. Number three, I do not look like my parents, but I look like my older sibling in blank, my younger sibling in blank, my paternal grandfather in blank, my paternal grandmother in blank my maternal grandfather in blank my maternal grandfather in blank paternal grandfather are the parents of your father maternal grandparents are the parents of your mother okay number four i look like blank the most so here you are going to attach a picture of yourself your picture and then the picture of the person you look the most the person that you look like the most so you can answer this one based on your own information and for the next slide that i'm going to show you it is an answered one do not copy this one because you have different traits okay you have different traits from other students so you can just use this as an example only as a basis okay and for your homework you can see that on page 55 page 55 so again observing the genetic traits of people in my family okay so here what to observe you have to observe your hair type hair color eyelid earlobe dimple tongue hair whirl thumb skin color and height of yourself and the people in your family just like your father mother older sibling younger sibling your grandparents so i'm going to do number one for you to have basis okay so let's have hair type what is my hair type is it curly or straight is my hair curly or straight okay i have straight hair since i have straight hair i am going to take the straight hair what about my father does my father have curly or straight hair? My father have straight hair as well. What about my mother? My mother got straight hair as well. As well as my older sibling, my younger sibling, my paternal grandparents, and my maternal grandparents. So, we all have a straight hair type. What about you? Okay, for number two. Until number 10, you can do the rest, okay? Do your activities and the rest of your homework. And do not forget to send it on the line, okay? That's all for today. Have a great day and goodbye.